Hey guys! I'm Riggy Rob, and welcome back to the Fire Emblem 6 Binding Blade No Promotions Run. Last chapter did not go as well as the chapter before it. Unfortunately, we had Geese die. But let's be honest, he wasn't pulling his weight anyway. And axes are kind of bad, so we don't really need him either way. Um, so we're moving on to chapter 16, Storming the Capital. I'm told that this is a fairly difficult chapter, there's a lot to do in it. Uh, but we're just going to have to deal with it as it comes. So let's start chapter 16, Storming the Capital. After rescuing Faye, Roy heads for Aquileia. The capital of Etruria. Aquileia is also the largest and wealthiest city on the continent. Prepared for the Lycian army's attack, the revolutionary forces are fortified in Aquileia. The St. Elamine Church supports the Lycian army, turning popular opinion against the revolutionaries, forcing them inside the castle. The St. Elamine Church was founded by St. Elamine, one of the eight legends. The church has legions of followers, particularly in Bern and Etruria. Really, in Bern as well. That's interesting. Roy's attack on Aquileia is supported by the church. However, Narsian and his elite troop await Roy inside the castle. Hmm. Kind of interesting that uh, Burn supports it as well. Alright, so I can see there was at least one mannequin. There's a few fighters, some mercenaries, lots of chests. There's a paladin, two paladins. Ooh, okay. Looks like we're going to be seeing promoted to units on a regular basis now. Okay. Interesting. I mean, snipers... Well, actually, snipers with silver bows do count. Uh, this is Douglas, okay. For getting chapter 16x, I need to keep Douglas alive. So that's going to be interesting. This is Roart, okay. Wow, he's even better than Douglas is. Yeah, look at look those stats compared to him. Same defense, more resistance. And he's four levels lower. He's just a better Douglas. Wow. And we have Arcado as well. Again, he's pretty decent. Uh... I have a feeling not all of these guys are going to be sticking around here. Douglas, I know, will stay, but otherwise, it shouldn't be all of them. So we've got some mannequins. There's a red gem on that dude. Uh, we're facing Narsian, and he's got a Delphi shield as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, those stats are doable. Uh, we can deal damage to him resistance-wise. He's got a rune sword as well, so that actually helps, because that should attack based on resistance. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's another mannequin there. So we've got five chests on the right, and another five chests on the left. Okay, let's just run through everyone's weapons. So there's another red gem there with an air caliber. This guy's got a bolting. Oh, but once he's done his bolting, he's not going to be able to touch anyone. Okay. That guy's got a killing edge, armor slayers, killer axe, okay. Steel axe, silence mend, silver bow. Okay, those are the generals. Ooh, hello. Ah, Hugh as well. So I believe I have to buy Hugh to be able to use him. Uh, and he's pretty decent, actually, considering, what, 13 magic? How much is that compared to Lalina? 13. Yeah, he's com comparable, you know. Could, uh, could be worse. How much is his speed as well? That's the main stats he needs. 12. Okay, so he could be a slightly better Lalina. Uh, assuming his growth rates are good for that. Yeah, so we got another uh, air caliber, two air calibers, there's a mannequin. There's another red gem on the mannequin. Oh, it's the same one, never mind. Four slayers on the knights. Where are the knights? At the top there, okay. There's a purge here. Okay. Alright. I'm also told there is a secret shop in this map. Um... I assume it would be somewhere here, probably here, because otherwise why would there be a break of a wall? The only way to be able to reach here is if you use the warp staff, and I don't think they'd put that secret shop here just yet. Makes sense. Um, so, let's return and pick our best units. So, Thea is almost level 20, uh, and to be honest, after she's level 20, I might just decide to bench her for a bit, because, you know doesn't really need to be fighting if I need to have her for chapter 17 uh, to get the uh, the other route uh, compared to Sake. Um, it's interesting how Sue still isn't actually that far behind. 
like her speed is high enough for her to do damage to people that she can do effective damage with. Uh, let's go ahead and trade weapons. Because I know I can get rid of this killer bow. And I can sell this knight crest. So let's sell that. I uh, don't want to buy anything though, that's fine. We have Faye! A young divine dragon from Nabata. Uh, she's a mana cat. Unhumans who have an eerie air about them. Very good resistance. Pretty decent defense. Uh, I, I'm assuming that that's the only divine stone she has. And I don't have the hammer and staff, so I can't repair it, even if it's possible. She's got one constitution, really. I suppose the Vine Stone doesn't actually have any weight, so it doesn't matter. She's got 22 crit as well. That's pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, I think we save Faye. Uh, we could sort of use her as like a, well, I guess a nuke. But she's going to take some time to get to a point where she can actually be used for that. So let's give all the weapons away. We're not using any uh, promoted units. We do have a lockpick we can give to the convoy. Do, do, do. Right, let's see. Pretty sure all the other weapons are on people that are going to make good use of them. Uh, do I want to bring Chad? I think now I'm not going to bring Chad. Bringing Trek seems like a better idea. Uh, do I want to bring Merlinus? I know I don't need to bring him to swap weapons around. But if there is a secret shop in this map, being able to sell stuff... I suppose I should just do it now, actually. So let's go ahead and have Merlinus transfer stuff out. Alright, what do we not need? I've barely used Steel Lances. They're just not that good. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be using Axes at all, but we'll leave those be for now. This could be useful if we eventually go back to using Sue or Sin. But we'll leave it for the time being. Uh, we've got Unlock Staff. So we can probably give that to Saul, actually. So Saul. Uh, sleep. Yeah, let's get rid of that Mend. And give him the Unlock. Uh, could give him the Barrier back as well. Maybe, we'll see. Alright, transfer the Slim Lance over. Silver card is going to be definitely useful for going to the Secret Shop. Uh, let's see, we've got another Flux. We do not. So I think I'll take Sophia's. There we go. Alright. Get that Steel Axe off of Melody. And I guess just give her another Kill Lance. Yeah. That works. Alan's got Silver Sword, Steel Sword, Silver Lance, Killing Edge. Um, I suppose an Iron Sword would be good. An Iron Lance, rather. Noah, he's pretty good for weapons. Astolfo definitely needs a lockpick. I think he's going to be bothering to bring him. Let's get Caths out. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, bring this one. I wonder, how much can I sell lockpicks for? Uh, so let's see. How much does a full lockpick sell for? 1,200. That's not too bad. Considering 30 uses is a lot, how many more chests am I going to be facing? I can't imagine it'd be too many, right? Alright, so Astolfo's got lockpick. Uh, we can give Lauren some chest keys. Nope, don't need to go to the armory. Transfer, take. Take five chest keys. Mm. No, that's fine. So then... See, the interesting thing I can do is decide whether to commit to sell all my weapons uh, that I'm not going to use. So, selling all my axes, for example. Because I'm not really using any axe users. And at this point, who's my best axe user? Probably Gonzalez, right? 12 strength, 9 speed. It's 
level 5. He's got a fair distance to go, but he does have 15 con, which is a lot. Like, can anyone carry 15? Yes, Trek can. So can Noah. So can Alan. Okay, so he's not unusable. But like, using him compared to Fur, for example? I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether having more speed for doubling people makes more sense than having higher strength to actually do damage. But yeah, I think I will take Merlinus off. Um, we could give some kills to Fur. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's not too bad. Mm. Right, so let's have a look at our thing again. So we've got lots of stuff here. Yeah, I'm not going to use a halberd, I don't think. Or a steel axe. Just thinking, Gonzalez can use a steel axe properly, can't he? 15 con on 15 steel axe, but the hit rate is too low, I think. So. How much can we actually get for this stuff? No, oh, it's not even that much. Hmm. What about if I sell some other stuff? Like, who are my light magic users? None, right? I'm not using divine. I've got lots of uh, anima magic, but I'm using Lolina a lot, so that's fine. Got heal, got men's. Yeah, those are still good to keep. This is still good to keep. Mm. Yeah, I don't need two steel lances spare. Yeah. Okay. The main reason why I'm thinking about doing this is because if the secret shop has things like stat boosters or physics staffs, uh, that is very handy to have. So... See, so Astolfo, 18 lockpick. I think this is good. Um, do I take barrier? No, actually, what I should do is I should take pure waters. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I keep going to armory. I shouldn't do that. All right, let's take off a thunder and put on a pure water for Lelina. So she can tank one. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the Vulnerary for Ray. Give him a pure water. So those guys can tank long range weapons. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's give Astolfo a better sword. So... Oh, running out of steel, steel swords. Okay. Well, nine sword will do. And then who's got steel swords? Iron sword on Lance. Ah, oh, Ogie's got one. Okay. Take that. Okay, so now let's think about positions. So, we've got these guys on the left, these guys on the right. These guys are closer to getting hit by things because there's bolting there. Yeah. So I could literally just stick Lelina or Ray into the forest and have them tank some hits. Uh, we've got Manaket. So I think it makes sense to have Belina or Ray on one side. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll do Ray because Roy and Lelina want to stick together if they can. So Ray's there. And then the other guy with a long range weapon was this one. Much more movement. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So what's kind of a plan? Right, so we've got a locked door in the middle. So we're going to have to get through the locked door at some point. I'm assuming Douglas is going to go up and then around. And then it kind of depends on where he goes after that. The only requirement for getting the guide in chapter is to keep Douglas alive. So that shouldn't be a problem. And I think... If we're going to be giving 
her a shot. We need to give her some good weapons. So let's take iron, steel, steel. She can't even use a killing edge yet. Ooh. All right, well, let's do this then. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it even worth bringing for... She's level two. She's not going to be doing a lot of damage. She's only got D swords. And who can I take instead? Chad to get the chest easier. Ogier is slightly better, but much higher level. Uh, Lance kind of fallen behind a little bit, but not that much. Because whoever I take is going to need babying. Uh, Catherine of the Thief. Yeah, the only other option really is to bring Faye. But then, why would I bring Faye? It would be to level up on the boss, I guess. Mm, I don't know. I think we save Faye for one more chapter. It's me, Reaper! Hello, Reaper. Thanks for joining the stream. How are you doing? We are just thinking about our battle preps currently and what the best thing to do with it is. I think. So, plan one is to just sit here with a ray to tank the bolting uses. Um, Astolfo's on the right. So, Astolfo on the right can get the chests on the right. Yep. Uh, we've got Alan. Let's see. Uh, this is not a bad layout, actually. Put Soul here. Put Rutger there. Melody and Noah. Yeah, this layout isn't actually too bad. Put Trek there. Yeah, Alan and Trek. Then we've got. Him's, he's got two vulnerabilities. He's still on E lances. Wow. Wait, is that. I'm seeing that? No, no, E sword. Never mind. Uh, yeah, she doesn't need two steel swords like that, does she? So. Transfer. Give that back. Uh, I could give her a chest key. Hmm. Yeah, what's the plan again? So we're going to go up to the middle. I don't have to worry about the bolting mage hitting me in the middle, really, because I'd only be able to go on the right hand side. This guy's got a killer axe, so use sword user, Elfire. There's Hugh. Okay, let's double check what the recruitment for Hugh is. So for Hugh, talk with Roy, pay him money. The more money you pay, uh, the lower his, the better his stats will be. The less money you pay, the better. The lower his stats will be. Okay. Zeiss comes on work for turn two. Talk to him with Melody. Okay. So let's put Melody at the front. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Who is better used than Fur, if anyone? Let's give her. Let's give Thea a slim lance. There we go. Uh, that's all good for Melody. Feel sorts fine. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm, it should be okay. Right. Who else would get a chest key? Oh, Laron's got one anyway. Okay. Yeah, if they've got that, I don't need a chest key on for. So, yeah, she literally can't use any other weapon. Uh, no, I tell you what, she can use someone's iron sword. She should have uh, Ogier. She's got one, I think. Iron sword and iron blade. Let's take the chance, actually. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty much as good as we're gonna get. Yes, too many deaths. Too many deaths indeed. Um, not all of them are my fault. Some of them were, but not all of them. Um, but yes, we're going to try and continue without any deaths here. At least this guy up here, Douglas, has to survive. And if he doesn't, we'll restart him because we need him for the true ending. So, 
Right, let's make a start then. Save again. And let us begin. Chapter 16, Storming the Capital. Curses! A thousand curses! The Lycian army still stands. How have they come so far? General Narsian. Head wife and General Murdoch is here. He is. Then, then post haste, send a escort. Ensure he receives every hospitality. He's already here. Yes, enough. Step aside. Sir Murdoch, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you all the way from Ilya? Enough of your squirrely pleasantries, Narsian. I want an explanation for this embarrassment. I'm sorry, Sir Murdoch. I don't believe I understand. Then allow me to explain. Princess Guinevere has escaped yet again. Flair, your lieutenant, has failed in the Western Isles and is dead. And finally, perhaps most egregious of all, you have neglected your mission to capture the village in Nabata, despite specific orders directly from King Zephiel's mouth. This is inexcusable, Narsian. Explain yourself. Oh, the that. Well, you see, there have been many complications, so I took it upon myself to... Hold your tongue, that's enough. I have orders from the king. I am to revoke your title of Wyvern General. What? You are to be replaced by Gal. Sir Murdoch, please wait. Allow me one more chance. The Lycian army approaches fast. Show your worth and stop them in their tracks. If you succeed, perhaps the king will reconsider. Sir Murdoch. Marcion, don't fail the king or me again. Oh, he's not even a, a wyvern rider. A wyvern lord. He's a general. Balderdash! A demotion? And I'm to be replaced by Gal of all people? Never! I will not allow it. What is left for me to do? No. My status and reputation. Everything is crumbling down. General Narsium, the enemy draws near. Silence! I know that already. Wait. Melody's younger brother is stationed in this castle. And Melody's the one who helps the princess escape. Aha! I can say he was leaking information to the enemy. What a flawless plan. <laughs> I'm sorry, General Narsium. What was that? Hmm? Oh, you know Melody's younger brother, don't you? You mean Sir Zeiss? That's him, Zeiss. I have reason to suspect he's leaking information to the Lysian army. Bring him here. What? I can't believe that Sir Zeiss would ever do such a thing. Yes, yes, it's shocking, I know. Now shut your trap. Do as you're told and bring him before me. The enemy's at our doorstep. Oh, what can we do? If we're captured, we'll be tried as traitors. Arcado, this is all your fault. If you had eliminated the Lysian army at the Isles as you were supposed to... But Lord Lorotz, no! This is neither the time nor the place to argue, my lord. We must make our escape quickly. we we'll escape to where? Let us turn to burn. This plot originated from them to begin with. Yes, of course. We have proven ourselves useful. They are sure to offer us suitable positions. And what do you intend to do with the king? Uh, well, Burn will probably see that no harm comes to him. King Zephyr's mother was a Trurian, after all. Douglas, I suspect you flee as well. I suggest you flee as well. And I suggest you shut your mouth. I only fought aside alongside you because King Mordred's life was at stake. I do not intend to go along with your scheme to the end. Hmm. Unbending as always. See yourself. Arcado, we escape now. Lord Roratz, wait for me. Choo. Dirty traitors, fleeing with their tails between their legs. I can't imagine it took much for Burn to seduce them. They'll meet their end at the hands of the Lysian army before long. When Prince Murden returns, Etruria will be whole again. But until then, I shall continue to fight for the king. My loyalty and honour as great general depend on it. Okay. This is Castle Aquileia, Lord Roy. Our information says that the revolutionaries are stationed inside. I thank you for your help, Father Yoda. Yoda. Thanks to the church, we will be able to avoid a battle in the city. No, it is I who must thank you. The church has been persecuted by the revolutionaries. Were it not for you, we would have been forced out already. Persecuted? Why? I can only presume it is because of our investigation into Burns dragons. Before she ascended to heaven, our founder, St. Elamine, said these words. Allow not dragons to return to this realm, for that would bring suffering to many. That's why we must do everything we can to send the dragons back to their world. Revolutionaries are with Burns, so that explains the persecution of the church. Indeed. We have discovered something interesting as well. The return of the dragons is tied to the Fire Emblem, Burns' greatest treasure. We don't know yet how, so that's why I sent Sol and Dorothy to investigate. Hmm. Lord Roy, you must stop the revolutionaries. If you'd allow me to give me one more piece of advice, of advice, try talking to some of the troops. I'm certain that many of them were forced into the army against their will. Of course, thank you again. St. Elamine's blessing upon you, Lord Roy. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's get uh, let's get this sorted, shall we? Do, 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 do. 
Okay, that's sorted. Thank you. Right, so, um, well, that was a lot of exposition. <laughs> we haven't even started the chapter. All right, so, so first plan was to do this with Ray. Okay, so he has 23 attack on Ray's now 19 resistance, so he's going to be doing barely any damage, which is good. Uh, we'll start moving up our units. Start from the back. Okay, uh, where can Laram go? Laram can go and dance for Roy. I suppose I can take off uh, killing, we killing Edge weapons on Roy now because he's not going to get the experience for it. Uh, and he's not going to probably kill in one hit either, so pop that out. Uh, we've got Thea here, so she can switch back to a slow lance. This guy's just got a steel sword, right? Yes, he does. So then Melody goes here. Uh, Iron Lance. Keep an eye on this bishop. So the bishop starts attacking the middle on turn two, I'm guessing. Uh, and I'm guessing these guys are just going to stay put. Like here. Ray there. Fur here. Uh, Alan can go... No, not there. Oh, that's one space too close. Alan goes here. And honestly, I think I can put Trek this way, right? I forgot what which weapon he was using. Doesn't matter, he went for Roy instead. Roy is not doubling mercenaries. Douglas is moving. So hang on. How do the enemies even touch me if I don't open the door? Do they go all the way around? Because again, there's no there's no time limit on this map. Okay. Zeiss, where are you? I'm here, Sir Gal. Is something wrong? Why did you summon me? Zeiss, you must hide. What do you mean? The enemy's before us. Listen to me. General Narsian has given the order for you to be taken prisoner. What? Does he think that I have betrayed Byrne? He needs a scapegoat for his failures. He says that you worked with Melody to leak information to the enemy. My sister? I don't even know where she is. Melody has apparently joined the Lysian army alongside the princess. Melody turned to the enemy? I don't believe it for a second. Ask her yourself. She's apparently here. Would that I could go with you, but General Murdoch ordered me to observe the outcome of the battle. Zeiss, get out while you still can. Talk to Melody. So, Gal, I... I will not make a move until I hear Melody's story. Oh, right. That...